Alright, hey guys, getting off the gray here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your SD card imaged for the Raspberry Pi. So, first what you want to do is um, Google the Raspberry Pi to go to their homepage, so just Google Raspberry Pi. Um, I'll leave the links in the description so you won't have to do all this Googling, but this is just the links aren't working or something. I don't know why they wouldn't be. So first what you want to do is go to this quick start guide. Um, just go here and then scroll down some to go to right here and then what you want to do is um, go right here to this launchpad.net this thing and then what you want to do um, just like right now just click on that and then wait for it to install and then you want to install the binary right there or no download it rather so yeah there you have it right down there just wait for that to install but you can exit to a different page so you can go to raspberrypi.org again and then go to downloads right there and then scroll down to whatever operating system you want. They all work the same. Um, you all write it to the SD card the same way. It does not matter whichever way. Um, for this example, I'm going to use Raspbian and Wheezy. So if you want to install the torrent, or I use the torrent, download it rather, um, because there are only a certain number of direct downloads that are available per day I've read. So it didn't work for me when I tried. So, yeah, just click on that thing, and then it should be popping up down there. There you go. So, um, here I'm just going to drag these files into here. Um, yeah. Um, okay, so next what you want to do is go to this neat website I found um, by doing this. How to image... SD card for Raspberry Pi right there. <clears throat> yeah, and then you just scroll down here to this E Linux thing. Click on that. And then what you want to do is um, go down here and you see that you need um, you see that you need to download the zip file of the torrent because a torrent, in case you don't know, is not the actual file. It's just kind of a link to get the file. Download faster. So then just Google uTorrent, which is the program I use to install it. So I'm going to go here. Right there. Um, uTorrent.com. And then you click get uTorrent. Um, and there's some different stuff that you file, you go here, then you go to, you unclick each of these things right there, and then you click download, and then you just go through the process to download what you need, but right now we are done with it. Um, so yeah, you do that, and then you just exit out of that browser. Yeah, my background's Raspberry Pi. So, then you'll follow this link right there, see it automatically um, makes it uTorrent compatible file so you can see with the little um, U thing there which is the symbol for uTorrent so you'll just double click this to download the zip file that you need to um, complete the rest of the process and then you're all good with that um, it might take a little while to download the zip so next what you want to do is extract this thing so just extract all and then just wait right here um, yeah, just wait for it to extract and there okay there you got it now just double click on this and see you have all these different files so what you want to do is um, you'll launch this click yes if it asks And wait for it to load. 
Yeah, it might say that. You just wait and see it appears up there. Um, oh, okay, I didn't install the zip. So here, I'm just going to go over here to my Raspberry Pi thing. And here, I have all these different files for it. So I'm just going to go to this thing, which is the same thing that you'll get by downloading the zip of the torrent. So there you have that thing. See, it's a pretty hefty size. I think it's about one, oh, there it is, 1.8 gigabytes. So yeah, that's a pretty big size. So what you'll want to do is, I have my SD card plugged in, but what you'll want to do is just go over here, find the image file right there. Um, so I'll click on my thing right there, um, go down to Raspberry Pi, and then go to the whichever operating system the zip file for it and I'll just double click on that and then you want to specify which um, what is the, um, the drive letter for it I think that's the name for it yeah it is so you want to specify the drive letter for example it should only have one if you only have one portable memory storage in it but I have my um, flash drive as you can see in it so that's why there are two E is my um, E is my SD card, so you can check by just going here, then clicking on computer, and see. Um, oh, never mind, I'm so stupid. <sighs> wow, wow. So here's the SD card, it's, you can see it's F, and then my removable disk is E. Now you have to make sure it is the right thing. If you don't, and you accidentally do the wrong one, it'll delete everything that's on your device. So make sure it is the right one. Now you can just... Um, be safe with it by removing your other devices. But, yeah, so I didn't. Doesn't really matter because I'm not going to be writing it onto it today. I'm just showing you how. So, yeah, I can see that the SD card is obviously F right there. So I can just exit out of that. And then, so I'll choose F right here. And then you just want to write. Click write. And it'll do it all. And then you're all good. So, yeah. Guys, um,. That's about it, and you just want to plug it into your Raspberry Pi. Um, maybe follow the quick start guide that I guided you to at the beginning. Um, here, I'm just going to pull up a little thing right up there. So, um, hmm. I can't think that I forgot anything. Um, if I did forget anything, just comment in the video and um, tell me. Yeah, so it should write after you click write. Um, it might take a little while. Just like the download of the zip file from the torrent should take a little while. Um, so yeah, after you write it, then you have your SD card written with the operating system of your choice, depending on what you got from the downloads thing, the downloads page um, from raspberrypi.org. And then you just plug that into your Raspberry Pi, get all the cables set up and everything, and then you have the correct thing. And the setup for the cables, in case you're new and it's confusing, is on the quick start guide. Ah, jeez. Okay, so, yeah, that concludes my video about how to write an operating system onto an SD card, how to image it. The image is um, the other name for the, S for, the um, for writing it to it. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Gandalf the Grey, and I bid you all farewell.